हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंटीग्रेटेड फिजिक्स स्टडीज आईपीएस एस एम ऑलरेडी प्लस टू सेकेंड इयर सिलेबस कंप्लीट कर सारी एवं मुझे प्लस थ्री सी बी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस रो वीडियोस गुड़ा अपलोड करी जदि भल लगे तेल लाइक करदेव और सब्सक्राइब करदेव जो भिडियोज गुड़ा मुझे अपलोड करी तार नोटिफिकेसन ये बेल आइकन को अल्रे सेट करदेव गोटे इंपोर्टां जिनस भिडियोज जो थ्री डट्स देखु तार क्वाटी ये देख बै डिफल्ट थ्री सिक्सटी अच्छी तुम ताक पढ़े कर एडवांस क्लिक कर तुम रिजल्यूसन प्रति वीडियो जरे मु पीडीएफ लिंक देवी ताकु एठी ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट को तमे क्लिक करी डाउनलोड मध्य करी परबो पीडीएफ को लास्ट रे एठी जो मोर चैनल नेम अछि याकु क्लिक करी तमे एठी प्लेलिस्ट को जाई मु प्रति वीडियोस को यूनिट वाइज एज पर सिलेबस सो जाई कि रखेतिबी तमे सर्च करी परबो ओके थैंक यू हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आज रो टॉपिक रे हमें मॉलिक्यूलर बीम एपिटेक्सी दैट इज एमबीई एंड एमबीई ग्रोथ ऑफ क्वांटम डॉट्स ए विषय रे पढीबा सो फर्स्ट लेट अस नो व्हाट इज एपिटेक्सी एपिटेक्सी मींस ग्रोइंग लेयर्स ऑफ वन मटेरियल ओवर द लेयर ऑफ अनदर मटेरियल ओके सो मॉलिक्यूलर बीम एपिटेक्सी दैट इज एमबीई इज अ मेथड ऑफ ग्रोइंग क्वांटम डॉट्स सिंगल क्रिस्टल्स और फॉर डिपोजिशन ऑफ हाई क्वालिटी दैट इज लो इफेक्ट एंड हाईली यूनिफॉर्म अल्ट्रा थिन फिल्म्स ऑफ सेमीकंडक्टर मटेरियल्स ओके सो एमबीई सिस्टम एसेंशियली कंसिस्ट ऑफ एन अल्ट्रा हाई वैक्यूम चेंबर व्हिच इज मेंटेनड एट ए वेरी लो प्रेशर इन द रेंज ऑफ 10 टू द पावर माइनस 8 टू 10 टू द पावर माइनस 12 टोर ओके सो ड्यू टू सच ए लो प्रेशर द एटॉमिक स्पीशीज हैव वेरी लॉन्ग मीन फ्री पाथ्स व्हिच इज ग्रेटर देन दैट ऑफ द ज्योमेट्रिकल साइज ऑफ द चेंबर now the base material that is the substrate which is taken for example gallium arsenide upon which the thin film has to be deposited is loaded onto a sample holder inside the liquid nitrogen cooled vacuum chamber which is maintained at a temperature of low temperature of 77 kelvin okay so let us now see the schematic diagram of the vacuum chamber of this mbe that is the molecular beam epitaxy okay so here you can see this is the schematic diagram right so here the precursors of the desired elements are like gallium arsenic aluminum phosphorus indium and antimony which are loaded into the heated crucibles or furnaces okay remember crucibles means these are the metal container which can heat the metal or melt the metal okay by means of very high temperature right now these crucibles or furnaces are called conduction cells or effusion cells which are containing the controlled shutters okay here you can see these are the shutters which can be controlled by means of computer okay like that of for example in case of shop there are shutters okay so you can open or close the shutter okay similarly these shutters can be open or closed by controlling with a computer right now first the substrate is heated to a temperature of about 500 to 600 degree celsius right and then the precursors are heated such that when the shutters are opened the beams of atoms or molecules are fired from the effusion cells onto the substrate okay and the long mean free paths of the atoms will ensure that the atoms or molecules will reach the substrate without any collision okay with the other gas phase species in the chamber okay so the molecules fall on the surface of the substrate and thereby condense and build up very slowly and systematically in ultra thin layers okay so here you can see these dotted lines are the molecular beams okay and they are deposited upon this substrate okay which is and the whole setup is contained in the ultra high vacuum chamber okay now in this manner the complex single crystal grows one atomic thick layer at a time and by controlling the temperature as well as the sequence of opening and closing these shutters so that 
one can deposit highly uniform films of semiconductors okay besides that the mbe that is the molecular beam epitaxy will provide the way to obtain the precise nanometer length scale quantum well structures okay and the quantum dots can also be prepared through this mbe technique now since mbe involves building up the materials by manipulating the atoms and molecules so it is also a perfect example of bottom up approach of nanotechnology or the bottom up approach for the synthesization of nano structured materials right now this molecular beam epitaxy that is mbe is one of the fundamental facilities for digital economy energy and semiconductor nanotechnology research fields okay now let us see the mbe growth of the quantum dots so when there is a lattice mismatch between the substrate and the semiconductor which is to be deposited as the thin film then it is possible to grow the islands of a semiconductor on the top of another semiconductor okay so this indicates that the semiconductor quantum dots can be synthesized so the basic idea is that after depositing a few layers of the new lattice mismatched semiconductor the strain at the interface will change the mode of growth from within the plane to out of the plane so that it will result in the growth of small islands which are the desired quantum dots right now the growth of these quantum dots is a result of acero tiller greenfield that is atg instability which is an elastic instability and it occurs due to the lattice mismatch between the growing film and the substrate now here the elastic energy will be accumulated in the growing film now at some critical angle the free energy of the film can be recovered if the film breaks into isolated islands where the tension can be relaxed laterally okay so the critical height here depends upon the young's modulus which is the elastic constant and the mismatch size and surface tension okay so this technique of growing the quantum dots is called strensky krestenau growth okay so here the growth of crystal layers is monitored with reflection high energy electron diffraction that is in short r h e e d and or auger electron spectroscopy that is aes which is used for the characterization of the deposited layers during the growth process that is in situ characterization now what does this mean these are the broad range experiments that apply various stimulus to the sample and observe the reaction okay so in this way we can say the molecular beam epitaxy that is mbe consists of using beams of molecules in order to build up the layers on the top of a substrate okay so we have already seen the schematic diagram of the mbe and one more thing remember these convalescent cells or effusion cells actually these are used to measure the low vapor pressure of a solid okay now let us see what are the various advantages of this mbe technique so number 1 mbe will ensure the extreme cleanliness so there is clean oxide and dust free environment in the chambers then the absence of carrier gases as well as ultra high vacuum environment will result in the highest achievable purity of the grown films okay so here the films are very much pure now the third point mbe offers most precise control over thin film deposition so here ultra thin film layers with atomically sharp interfaces can be deposited okay in the next point here separate evaporation of each component will take place and the deposited thin films will have very uniform thickness and finally the substrate temperature is not that much high okay now let us see what are the various disadvantages or drawbacks in this mbe technique so first point 
the mbe arrangement is very complex in nature and also it is very costly that is it is very expensive technology okay second point the deposition process is very slow which is less than 3000 nanometer per hour that means in order to deposit a thin layer which is less than 3000 nanometer we have to wait for about one hour okay hence the growth is epitaxial in nature and due to this slow rate of deposition this method is more suitable for scientific research laboratories okay rather than the mass production purpose okay finally let us see what are the various applications of this mbe technique so mbe is used for the deposition of some organic semiconductors then in the manufacture of semiconductor devices like heterojunction bipolar transistor then in the construction of elemental or compound semiconductor quantum wells quantum wires and quantum dots for use in lasers then it can be used as a fundamental tool for the development of the nanotechnology then for depositing the most controllable and highest purity thin films here you can use the mbe technique and in the fabrication of intricate structures of layers of different materials we can use this mbe technique and finally in the research and development that is r and d and the mass production of nanostructures we can also use the mbe technique okay so this is all about the molecular beam epitaxy and the mbe growth of quantum dots which i have taken from one book now this is what i have taken from another book okay so it has given about the mbe technique in a brief and a concise manner so i advise you to read it also and by combining from both the books you make your note accordingly okay thank you